Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from Techie B and today's video will be taking a look on Candy Room which is based on Android 8.1 so without wasting any time let's get started in this video we'll be taking a look on features available on this room benchmark results and at the end of the video I'll show you how can you install this room this will be the first look of the room going to settings checking the software information system about phone as you can see Android version is 8.1 with the latest security patch of 5th Feb 2018. This room is also highly customizable with lots of customization options and things like volt services and dash charging are working fine on this room. This room also has Oxygen OS stock features like OnePlus Doors, screen of gestures and notification slider. Under OnePlus Doors you get tilt sensor and proximity sensor options. Under screen of gestures you get few custom gestures which can be enabled from here and the last one is notification slider which allows you to customize the notification slider it also has a candy shop menu available under the settings which allows you to customize system settings lock screen status bar navigation bar and multitasking so one by one let's take a look on the features available or the customization options available under this so under system you can find an option of buttons which allows you to adjust volume buttons and you can also swap volume buttons rotation based then you have torch which can be enabled when the screen is off under lights you get options to customize battery light notification light power menu consists of few options which can be enabled from here then we have notifications which gives you options of wake on plug, vibrate on touch, smart notification sound. Moving on to lock screen, here you have double tap to sleep on the lock screen. No power menu when the device is locked. So if you enable this and if your device is locked, the power menu won't pop up if you press the power button also. Media cover art and lock screen shortcuts. Then moving on to status bar, here you get lots of customizations related to clock options, battery settings, network traffic, quick settings, status bar and after that you also have double tap status bar to sleep and few other options of status bar ticker and head up options then going on to navigation here you have software keys options and hardware key options under software keys you can enable navigation and you can also customize the buttons from here and also adjust the height and the width of the navigation bar under hardware keys you get option of disabling hardware keys and you also have backlight option which can be enabled or disabled from here you also have few tap actions available under this and the last one under candy shop is multitasking which have few options of launch app on headset connected and few headset configuration like where to play the ringtone from launch music app on headset connection after that you have recent panel which allows you to set custom icons if you have any icon pack installed you can use it in recents panel and under that you also have an option of slim recents which can be enabled or disabled from here then the last one is gesture anywhere so this will allow you to get custom gestures and you can also change the position to trigger those gestures and you have options to add your custom gestures over here which can be used to open application or any other stuff available on your device so these are the customization options available under candy shop now going back to the settings and under display you can find few other options like ambient display prevent accidental wake up new new notification wake up and you also get ambient and lift to wake brightness so that brightness can be adjusted manually from here you also get two themes available inside one is the pixel one and the next one is stock i've been using this room since a complete day and i did not face any kind of issues related to volt services or any other things the device doesn't even get heated up this is very close to stable and i have not encountered any bugs so now let's take a look on the benchmark results which i got it on this room so under single core I got 1830, under multi core I got 5760. Talking about N22 bench application, under this results were 1,87,386. So pretty good scores which I got it on this ROM. Talking about the battery backup, this is my second cycle and in the first cycle it was not that good but in the second cycle you can see the battery percent is 77% as of now and the screen usage time is 1 hour and 44 minutes. So as of now it's a good battery backup which I am getting on this ROM. 
now let's take a look on the installation process so guys make sure you download the files required to install this room all the links are given in the description below and also make sure you have twrp recovery installed on your device so once everything is set up reboot your device to twrp recovery and also make sure that your device is decrypted after your device boots to recovery go to wipe first of all locate the files which you have downloaded so I'll show you the files which I have downloaded. So I've made a folder over here called as candy. In this I have room file, firmware file and Google app package. So once you have downloaded everything, go to wipe, advanced wipe, wipe everything from here excluding internal storage. Swipe to wipe. Once it is done, you go back, locate those files again. First install the firmware file. After you have installed firmware file, then you need to install ROM file and the Google app package. So I'll install both of them and after that I'll reboot my device. So your device will take somewhere around 3 to 4 minutes to boot up. Once it boots up, you can complete the initial setup and you can start using the ROM. So guys, if you have any kind of questions, do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up. And also if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.